I have no common sense. Like, where is it gone? Where does it go? Come back. I'm a hater. I'm very much a hater. Was, will always be a hater. Um, but there's no excuse for a book to have over 600 pages. You're not the Bible. And even the Bible, you can condense it. No one needs 600 pages. Bada boots. I'm here all night, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Welcome back! And if you're new here, hi, my name is Daniela, and this is my favorite video of the month. So, this is the moment when I pick every single book that I'm going to read next month. Uh, so, the books for May, basically. May is my favorite month because it's the month I was born in, and also because everything is just nicer. You know, fruit starts to just ripen and there's a lot of flowers and it's just everything is so much better in May so let's pick the books I'm going to read for May first of all before I forget because I forget every single time I'm going to do the mystery book this is the mystery book for May so for those who don't know at the beginning of the year I wrapped 12 books and Every single book has a number in it and the number is corresponding to the month. So May is the fifth month, so it should have the number five in the title. Also, all of these books are from a secondhand bookstore. So besides the fact that I don't remember what they are because I have the memory of a goldfish, they're also like secondhand. So some of them are not in the best shape. So let's open the May book. So excited this is like it's like receiving a present every single month okay took me a while but are you ready okay i'll let you see it first what is it what is it the famous five by enid blyton the, yeah enid blyton illustrated by eileen a sober so five on a hike together. I feel like this is very May appropriate as well because the weather is just better and it just feels right for a hike. So I have heard so much about the famous five, but I have never picked a book up by them because it's a pretty big series from what I know. So like it says on the back, it's half term and five are going hiking through the woods and up the hills. But when Anne and Dick take a wrong turn, it leads them all straight into danger. An escaped convict is on the loose and passes a strange message to Dick by mistake. A stash of treasure has been hidden nearby. Will they discover it before the prisoner strikes again? So from what I get, the famous five are kind of like the Scooby gang. Uh, they're all about like discovering mysteries and everything. I'm not sure, but I feel like one of the five is the dog, but I might be wrong. I might be very wrong. I will read this and then I'll let you know if part of the five is a dog as well because then it is exactly like Scooby-Doo. So this is the mystery book of the month. So excited to read it. So excited. Okay. Okay. Next, I want to pick the book that um, I want to continue and finish reading. So last year and the years prior, like every single year I had a book that I just didn't finish and this year I'm like let me gather all of them and try to finish them because I don't have that many started and not finished but I have a few so this month in May I wanted to tackle this monstrosity look at it it's giant it's huge is I don't even know if I'll manage but this is Moby Dick or the whale by Herman Melville and I tried, like I started reading this, as you can see. This part is that what I've already read. This is what I have to finish reading. And this whole book is like 651 pages, which is insane, to be frank. And the writing is tiny, tiny, but I will do my best to try at least to get halfway through this book. I really want to finish it, but 
miracles don't always happen. You know, we have to be realistic here as well. So um, I do want to read this. And after I finish this, because it feels fair, like after I finish this, I want to read the Moby Dick pop-up book. Like, let me show you something. Are you ready? <gasps> How amazing is this book? It's just, it's beautiful. It's, it's the most stunning book you will see in life. How insane is that? Like, oh, but again, this is a pop-up book and the story is very, very condensed. So that's why I want to read the actual book first. So read this first and then get into this because like this, it will be like, it will be like a little treat for myself. Like, oh my God, you read this? Time to look at some pop-up of the book. So, so excited to read this. So excited. And it's just it's the most beautiful book I own. It's gotta be. It's just, I can't wait to read this. I am so excited. So those were like the second category books I want to finish. And now it's time to pick from my TBR jar. So I'm going to pick three because every single month I pick too many and then I overwhelm myself. Um, but also I like to have a choice. So, you know, the duality of women. Um, so let's pick three. I also have two veto votes. Um, I haven't used them yet this year, but you never know, you know, and I can't have another 600 page book. I just, I can't do that. So let's pick. Okay. First I'll pick them. And then I'll go get them because it's just easier for me. So, okay, I'm not looking, even though they're all wrapped, so it doesn't make any sense. Okay, I picked the pink one. Let me put this down so it doesn't break. Okay, so I picked the pink one. I'll show it to you first and then I'll look at it. Can you see it? Is it the right way? Okay. Fairy Tale of New York by Miranda Dickinson. I feel like this is a winter book. I'm not sure, but if it is, like, let me pick four of these because that might be a winter book. Did I check now? Let me check now. Okay, I'm back. So, Fairy Tale of New York is very much Christmas. And it's May, you know, I want all the flowers and the fruit and just the sun. So I will not be reading this. I'll put the note back and then just let's pick three others because I'm keeping these for winter just to get me in the vibe. So if I get any other winter or very autumn specific books, I'll just leave them. Also summer. I have a few that are very summer theme centered, whatever you want. So I will put those back as well because I'm very much a mood reader. I don't want to read Christmas books in May. That's that's a June activity, you know? So, okay, let's pick three others. One of them fell, but I'll pick it later. This is a tiny note. I wonder what it could possibly be, okay? Can you see it? Can you see that? Is it backwards? Is it okay? I think it's supposed to be like this. This is Just Like You by Nick Hornby. I'll pick that up later and see how it is. Should I just? Yeah, I'll pick them later. I can't. Now the next one. This one. Okay, you first and then me. Oh, this one is in French because it has an F here. Oh, I don't know if I want to read French books this month. I'll pick it up and then we'll read all them. I don't know. Um, this is Oprosha Aret by Hiro Arikawa. This is another one of the books that I have started and haven't finished last year. And by started, I mean I read one page, exactly one page of the whole thing. And um, should I give it a try? It's like right here. Is this one here? And I love Japanese authors, um, but it's in French. Okay, I'll put it here and then we'll decide, okay? Because things are quite weird this month. So 
pick another one. <laughs> okay. Did we go for the blue or the okay, the blue. So you first. This is a long one. What is it written on this one? Okay, so this is the Emperor of Ocean Park. Ooh, I'm excited to read this one. And this will, I think this one has the black and white cover. So I can also take it from my book bingo uh, that I have on my reading journal. Um, if you want to check it out, I have a video on it. Um, but we'll see. And let me pick another one just in case. Because I don't know. This month is a bit weird. So let, just let me pick one. And then we can also say no or whatever. They're all falling like, why do I only get blue or... Okay, this is yellow one. There we go. What are you? What are you? It's smaller, so I have hope. I wonder what this is. There was a time by Frank White. This tells me absolutely nothing. Um, so yeah, these are the books. I have... How many did I pick? So I picked that one. That's winter. We're not going to do that. And I have four other notes. Once again, I am overwhelming myself. I don't know why I do this, but let's pick these out and then see if I'm actually going to keep them or not. So let's go. Welcome to my second bookshelf. Now I have the notes here and let's pick all the books. So the Emperor of Ocean Park, this one is right here. So I'll have to be very careful and then put the books I'll put them like this and I'll rearrange a little. Oh my god. This is huge. The writing is big, but let's pick them and then choose. Pick them and then choose. Okay, the next one, this is the French one we've already had there. Then we have Just Like You by Nick Hornby. Hmm. Another book that was face up, so I will have a lot of rearranging to do. Don't fall. Okay. And the last one is There Was a Time by Frank White. This one here. You've already seen it. Okay. This one here. Such a nice cover. I feel like it will be about the war though, so. What am I getting myself into? Okay, okay. I got the books, so let's go back and talk about them. Once again, I said that I will not overwhelm myself, and once again, I lied. I have no common sense. Like, where is it gone? Where does it go? Come back. Like, what? This is ridiculous. I can tell you right now that I will not be able to read all of these, <laughs> like right now. So, oh my God. Okay. Let's talk about them. So first I picked two books that I want to read that weren't on the list, but they're very small books. And I have been keeping these till Easter and just like spring. Uh, first one is Benjamin Bunny by, um, I don't know who wrote this. Benjamin Bunny was not one of the characters I read about when I was little. Okay, based on the original and authorized story by Beatrix Potter. Um, so this is a ladybird little book. Um, and this year, Easter for me falls on like the 5th, I believe, of uh, May. So I kept this specifically for Easter so I could get like in the mood even though we don't really celebrate it that much but I still thought it'd be like cute and then I have this little book um this is again a ladybug book um ladybird a ladybird book uh this is about butterflies and moss and it feels very season appropriate because you know butterflies and moths come back in spring and it's just their sex and they're illustrated so just a little nice plain book like i'm so excited for these look at how beautiful oh my god i'm already so excited for them so 
these are the two very small ones that I've picked for myself to read this month. Um, well, in May. And then let's go through all the other monstrosities. <laughs> okay, so There Was a Time by Frank White. This is such a beautiful cover. Such a beautiful... <laughs> About war, okay. So, a captivating portrait of an English village in 1940, uh, and surely one of the very last novels to be written about the Second World War by someone who fought it. I don't know if that's true, because there are a lot of Second World War books written by people who fought them, but still. Um, God, at least the writing is decent. It's, it's still quite girthy book but just look at it but i am excited to read it i don't know <laughs> i say excited but i will tell you at the end of may if i actually read this or not so this is there was a war by frank white no there was a time not a war but you get it you get it The next book is by Nick Hornby, Just Like You. I've wanted to read this for quite some time now. Don't know what this is about. Again, bought it just for the cover. Okay. So, on an average Saturday morning in a butcher shop in North London, Lucy and Joseph meet on opposite sides of the counter. She's a teacher and a mother of two, but the past she's trying to forget. He's an aspiring DJ with a wild, open future that maybe needs to start um, becoming more focused. Lucy and Joseph are opposites in almost all ways. Can something life-changing grow from uncommon ground? Nick Hornby's brilliantly observed, tender and brutally funny new novel gets to the heart of what it means to fall headlong in love with the best possible person, someone who may not be just like you at all. So this is a romance book. I don't really read romance, so I am quite excited about this. Also. Um, it's just something of a palate cleanser from Moby Dick and there was a time that talked about war. So, um, I am looking forward to this. Like, I really am. So, this was just like you. After that, <laughs> oh my god, it's so heavy. Like, look at this. It's, you can't feel it, but just believe me it's very happy so this is the emperor of ocean park by stephen l carter and i also want you to see the whole portrait of the author at the back it's just they did it differently in the 90s as it, it's so creepy like there's no need for this but i also appreciate it so. um okay this is a lot of writing let me compress it for you. An extraordinary fiction debut, a large stirring novel of suspense that is at the same time a work of brilliantly astute social observation. The Emperor of Ocean Park is set in two privileged worlds, the upper crust African-American society of the eastern seaboard, old families who summer on Martha's Vineyard, and the inner circle of an Ivy League law school. It tells the story of a complex family with a single Deductive link to the shadow, shadow lands of crime. I don't know. What do you have this much to talk about? Also, the pages are not like, I don't know how you call these pages, but they're not cut like properly. They're left kind of all over the place. And I know some people, you can't feel them, but they're not smooth. They're like over this. Some people love that. I don't. I have another book like that and I just, I like my edges very nicely cut. So, yeah, I think I'll have to see because I don't know why it's this large. This has, oh my God. Okay, this has 657 pages. 657 pages. The writing is larger, but it's the same page amount as Moby Dick. What do you have to write that is over 600 pages? Also, it doesn't look like it because the, the book is huge, but it's over 600 pages. I'm just, I'm a hater. I'm very much a hater, was, will always be a hater. Um, 
but there's no excuse for a book to have over 600 pages. You're not the Bible, and even the Bible, you can condense it. No one needs 600 pages. <sighs> okay, I will see if I will read this. I promise nothing, because I will break it. But I will see if I will read it. And if not, I'll just put, I'll just pick another book from my bookshelf, because you know. Yeah, so. This is the Emperor of Ocean Park. Let's come back to the French one. This is Oprochant Aret by Hiro Arikawa. I don't know what this is about because I am too lazy to translate the back and it's a Japanese author. I trust that it will be great. This is a gift from my friend Sophie. Thank you. Um, and again, I only read one page so far and I will have to read it because Fully forgot what happened in that one page and <laughs> it's in French so it will be a challenge to say the least um, but we will persevere and if not we will drop so I don't know what happened to me I was so ecstatic like enthusiastic I was everything and then these books like God was like, oh, you're happy? Let me knock you down a notch. So we'll have to see. I don't I don't know why I keep doing this. I'm not happy. Emotionally, I am down. Um, and then I have these two that I've talked about. I feel like everyone knows what Moby Dick is about. And for those who don't, it's about this guy trying to kill a whale. That's everything you need to know. That is the whole story the whole 600 page story of this guy trying to kill a whale the amount of sailing information they give you in this book completely unnecessary they didn't have wikipedia in the in the day i understand fully reasonable but you have it now there's no reason to have 600 pages of trying to kill a whale oh my god just Ugh, but we'll see. This, I can say, is the only book I'm actually really excited for this month. And those two small ones. Other than that, I will crumble. My mental stability is low, so it will crumble. But we'll see. I have no hope in myself, but we will see. So let me show you all my books again so you can cry with me or laugh at me both are perfectly fine options because honestly i understand i understand so i have mental problems because these are all the books i plan to read in may i don't know why i keep doing this to myself like i genuinely don't i could have had a nice month yet here i am so yes if you would like to continue seeing me suffer please subscribe if you have any book recommendations or just want to wallow at my misery write me a comment i want to hear about it anything you have to say i'm genuinely curious <laughs> have you read the fantastic five or what the name is the famous five not the fantastic that's the fantastic four have you read the famous five because it's a pretty popular series pretty famous series if you will i'm here all night ladies and gentlemen have you read this did you like it like i feel like this is an elementary school read or like a middle school read perhaps more appropriate so if you did read about it please tell me and do you have a favorite should i get another one of these i will tell you next month if i like this um but tell me about them i'm so curious so yeah, um, also consider subscribing again because I just, I need all the moral support that I can get to get through all of these books. So yeah, again, like, comment, subscribe and all that. And I will see you next time. And you can also watch all of my other videos. There's so many and I'm very funny in all of them. So I will see you next time. Bye. I just give the earth my soul 
Hear my thoughts bounce off the walls. 